Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a hellish couple in love that loves reacting to some Helsing Ultimate Abridge. Oh yeah, we do. And so we're checking out uh, Helsing Ultimate Abridge episode six. If you want all of our Helsing Ultimate Abridge reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. We got a link to our Patreon, get early ad free access to these reactions. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I want to see Alexander and uh, Alucard yeah. fuck some shit up. The following is a fan-based parody. Helsing Ultimate is owned by Kota Hirano and Studio Madhouse and is licensed by Genion, Madman Entertainment, Manga Entertainment and Funimation. Please support the official release. Please, no! I want to be a <laughs> Ooh. I think that was the last one. Good thing too. I fear you're running out of bayonets. Care to correct yourself? So, sorry, sir. You have bayonets for days. Bayonets <laughs> for days. Father Anderson, I believe I speak for all of us when I ask, why did we go out of our way to save this, uh... Woman. I didn't want to assume. I was actually wondering that myself. Alucard would have left Maxwell to die. Probably after putting a bullet in his leg. I am a man of three things. God, virtue, and disobeying that trap Maxwell when it suits me. <laughs> and if I'd let the woman die, I'd have been none of the three. Wait, so you just defy your master's orders on a whim? Aye. Good God, it's strange to see this from the outside. <laughs> 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 Lieutenant Zorn Blitz, we are just outside the Helsing perimeter. We shall maintain this position as we observe... No! All hands to battle stations. But... Ma'am, our orders. I have been waiting for this war for over 50 years. I have been given weapons, men, and a target. I will not be caught blocked to the point of entry, <laughs> but a little blunt toad! I know. We will get what we have coming to us. Now, Captain, launch the V-Bands! Yes, ma'am. Whoa. Status report! Anyone! Well, uh, the V-Bun's launched, and then they blew up. But not where they were supposed to. Like, way too soon. I can see <laughs> that! Why? Reports say it's sniper fire! Kilometers away! You are useless! Get me a fucking visual! <laughs> oh, yeah! Peace, girl. Damn, the hell is she weird? Yeah. You must be a band to clear pigeons everywhere. Actually, if you wouldn't mind, Mr. Bernadotte, my name is Sarah's Victoria. How peculiar. I was under the impression by the rest of the staff that your name was Police Girl. You know what? Fine, ma chère it is. Just pay attention for any possible incoming. So, ma chère, tell me a little bit about yourself. You're serious. Come now, we know so little about one another. <laughs> Let's be honest, this may be the last chance we get to share. So, ma chère, what was he like growing up in England? Oh, Jesus. Oh. I grew up in Leeds. Nothing happened. Sounds boring. Yes, it was. <sighs> How about you? Oh, um, in the French countryside, with my... Grandpère, is it true? Is it true what the children at school say? That you are mercenary? That you kill people? Oh, little peep. It is much more than killing people. It has many complicated facets. I once helped topple a fascist South African government in a week. I mean, it was replaced by another in two, but I still got paid. But grandpere, my fellow school children, they don't and bully me for it. Dear quoi? How are you not the coolest kid in school? Who is it who dares to mock you? Is it that son of the butcher, Jean Paul? Perhaps that little piggy shall find a grenade in his lunchbox. Oh. When he opens it, it pulls the pin. Please do not kill my friends. Oh, mon cher petit fils. I'm not going to do it. You are. Quoi? Oh my god. Damn. Oh, relax. It was yeah. a flashbang. A little bit of dinner has never hurt anyone. Now, how about these Nazi fucks? Well, I've got a couple of grenades for them. They ain't flashbangs, though. Ah, uh, but they'll flash and they'll bang. Just how I like it. Now, give them a proper hairsing welcome. So, a mountain of over-the-top violence, swearing, and unnecessary screaming? Exactly, ma'am. We fucking monster! 
<laughs> Holy shit, guys! I think we killed them all! No, no. no. Hey, Mercer, try not to choke on your fucking foot. <laughs> Quick reminder to everyone on the ground floor these are vampires. Much like Marcel, they won't go down that easy. No, not on the town, and a little bit of wine won't lose them over. You will have to show them that you care. Make them feel like they're the only things that exist to you in this world. And then, when they finally open their legs, give them everything. And leave nothing. That's our head count! Ein, zwei, drei. Uh, a lot, a lot, yes, <laughs> right. Good! Then your orders are to slaughter them all! Should I own my position, Mr. Bernadotte? No, my sir. You've already been on top. Now give us a turn. I haven't seen what you got. Oh, huh. landmines. Huh. Huh. Nice. Holy shit, they planted landmines. Oh, they found the landmines. Oh my god, they planted landmines? We walk our dogs out there. Oh, oh my god. god. We have to stay calm. Nobody move an inch. If they head for Zorin, we'll pull back. Mm. Alright, man, you know the deal. If it moves, it dies. If it dies, you move on. Keep those grenades coming, keep the bullets raining, and most importantly, have fun. I'm going to have a smoke. No offense, sir, but you're being awfully casual about this. I mean, as casual as usual. But aren't we dealing with Bram Stoker meets Castle Wolfenstein shit here? Honestly, Willingham, we were prepared for a full-on tactical assault. Instead, we got a volley of swastika-covered dipshits running dick first into enemy <laughs> territory. Still kind of crazy, though, isn't it? <laughs> dick no first. If you told me two years ago when we guys <laughs> were starting to end a war in the Middle East that we'd end up fighting Nazi vampires, I'd have kissed you full on the mouth. But now, all I feel is robbed. Well, if it makes you feel any better, there's a giant woman outside. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. the mouth. What? Holy fucking shit! What she said? Oh, oh my god! god. <gasps> I want to go back to the Middle East. <laughs> shit. <laughs> fucking David Bates! Oh, I lost an arm. We're gonna die to a giant German Nazi vampire woman with a scythe. That screaming homeless man on the train was right. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me, right? This basic bitch has you believing she's a giant. Master? Well... On a boat in the middle of, uh, the fucking, I don't know, Atlantic? And <laughs> fuck it, the ocean. Anyways, you need to whip out that third eye of yours. Uh, but... Master, I only have two eyes. No, you have three eyes. You're a vampire. Do you have three eyes? Sweetheart, I've got so many eyes. Eyes for days. Eyes for days? Eyes for days. <laughs> now, look past your own self. How uh... Oh my god, go cross-eyed, Jesus! <laughs> Please don't stick me to your giant vagina! Dude, what the fuck? I <laughs> vibes are gonna suck now. Hold on, did she... Come on! Open the doors of hell for me, Grandpere! I'm coming home. Oh, for Christ's sake. My face, you can't! You can't touch this! <laughs> nice. Good job. Holy shit, my arm! 
Mom's back! <laughs> oh, thank God! I thought she was going to crush me with her giant vagina. Oh, <laughs> what does your internet history look like? <laughs> it was just an illusion, like push-up bras or stilettos. Wait! <laughs> you wear a push-up bra? I don't wear a bra. Oh, my God. <laughs> we figured out the landmines! I Oh! Yeah. Oh! Eat hell. Ooh. Eat schnitzel in hell. Oh, my apologies. What would you have said? Don't be so sour, Kraut. <laughs> 99 dead balloons. <laughs> that was also <awesome>, Lil' Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> You've been auto bond. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> like, like the, like the auto We should get a move on. Oh, choke on a baguette of dicks. Now listen, my <laughs> sir. We are in this sick of it. They are getting close, and we cannot pull out now. We shall continue to hold them off as long as we can. But we need you to flank them, man. This is a reach round joke, isn't it? Oh dear, I'm becoming predictable. Whatever. <laughs> listen, if the British are good at anything, it's hunting. And you are hunting the deadliest game of all. Nazi vampires. Damn it, that used to sound so cool. But then you said so much and Nazi vampires just sound stupid. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, maybe we'll find something else, like maybe a Nazi werewolf. Well, that sounds so much worse. Oh. All right, what, what, what? Monsieur! Like a high class escort, make them pay for every inch. I can't believe I find you attractive. What on quoi? Wait, what? Hmm. Uh, so, sir, what's the over under on us finishing this mission alive? About as good as any of us actually getting laid tonight. I don't know. Those vampires do look kind of rapey. Holy shit, dude. Oh, who oh the fuck am I offending? The Nazis? <laughs> <laughs> Bishop Maxwell. Oh shit, we fell asleep waiting. You'd think watching London turn into a literal hellscape would keep you riveted. But once the screens died down... So, what did I miss? Well, according to the reports, America is imploding. So, Millennium has infiltrated them as well? No, actually. Okay. <laughs> well, have the Papal Knights arrived yet? Actually, we were unable to conscribe them into our efforts. What? Ah, uh, but do not worry, Bishop Maxwell. We were able to get some eager volunteers. Oh my, oh my god. god. From Italia, I am a brother, Andrea, Marco, Francesco, Luca, Matteo, Alejandro, Alessandro, Federico. Yes, yes, and your order. I bring with me the Pio Nobel Ordine della Rosa de Corna de Risa Bartiron Meto, Alessarito del Signore Delici Ercite, Visione Risa de Solone. We bring a 510 Paladins of the Order. <sighs> Grazie. And you? From Mexico, Don Diego de la Vega. I bring the Mexican Inquisition. I did not expect you. No one ever does. We bring 888 Conquistador Inquisitors. Shalom, Bartholomew Yenyak from Poland. I bring the Sacred Order of the Temple Beth Zion. Oh, I've not heard of your order. You're sure you're Catholic? Well, of course. You worship <laughs> the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, if we're killing Nazis, who'll we'll worship a side of Megan? We bring 447 mention. Hey, bud, I've been... Salvation the Army. Canada, I bring the Crusaders of the Salvation Army. Fuck, bro, let's kill us some gays. Nazis. Yeah, sorry, whatever. We bring 509 holy hosers, eh? Glad to have you. <laughs> holy hosers? Now, I gotta say, I'm a little uncomfortable killing Nazis. Some of my best friends are neo-Nazis. Then again, these are those classic type Nazis, so... Miscusi. And you are? Judd Forrest from the South Carolina Baptist Confederate Congregation. I got me here some 300 and change good old boys from the Knights of the Hanging Noose. Wow, all right, okay. Thank you for swinging by. Oh, God. No, no worries. Hey, I noticed y'all brought some crosses to burn. If you run out, don't worry, because Jim brought more in his truck. That's uh, really not necessary. Jim, how many more crosses we got in that truck? About a few. About a few. Quite a few. This is going to be a long crusade. Listen up, those who have come to serve the unyielding word of our almighty God. We have come together this night 
under the glow they learned in Inferno, in the eyes of our Lord, for one divine reason. <laughs> Fuck the no pop! That Argentinian windback has ruined us, threatening on and on the dirty poor. We are the house of God, not a fucking soup kitchen. Thank you. Even we're sick of eating people. We're Italian. And what does he do with the golden throne? Replaces it with a wooden chair, probably carved by more poor people. Jesus was a king first, carpenter second. And do not stop me on the homosexuals. Oh, if you love them so much, why don't you fucking marry them? You seem so okay with the concept. Yeah, fuck bro, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and another dude and they're having sex. And he has the goal to renounce the Old Testament as mere stories. We should be more like Jesus and congregate with whores and homosexuals and poor people. Yeah, perhaps we can all just agree that maybe Jesus wasn't the son of God. <laughs> we are the congregation of a wrathful God. We should begin a new papal succession and I shall lead us in the ninth crusade, for I am your leader. The new Pope! And after we have finished purging England of its demons and heathens, we... Okay, you need to chill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what'd you think? I mean, another one without Alucard. I know. Um, but the the show is still engaging despite mm -hmm. that. It's just I I want to see more of him. Yeah, I mean, Alucard is the main main draw, main hook for me as well. Uh, Police girl did really well though. That was yeah. a cool um, battle sequence uh, that she was involved in. Um, so I enjoyed that and. That uh, the bit at the end with the, the different religions and different <laughs> the, the Salvation Army, uh, that was just some good, uh, just silly, stupid humor. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, I, I just love how like the segue to the image of, of everybody in the white robes and the hoods, and you go, yeah, oh my god, and then it's all the different religions. But oh, don't worry, because we're still gonna throw the clan in there at the end. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. They just they set it up well. The French guy was fun. So like his banter with police girl. If we weren't gonna get Alucard, I'm glad that we had that because he did keep it keep it going and and feeling you know borderline crass and everything. So he yeah. he did a good job while also not trying to be Alucard. And uh, I was wondering like at first I thought I'm like okay was he got like a, a bandaid over his nose or something like that a breathe right strip because he also had it as a kid. Mm. Uh, that same little little thing. Um, so, yeah, and then just learned about the backstories for a police girl and um, yeah. the Frenchman, um, both both pretty brutal. Yeah, um, and police girls were just kind of like flashes. So I am curious to get a little more into her story mm. as to as to what happened. Um, but I mean, you know, from from a violent childhood, it makes sense that she went into the police force to make sure other people didn't have to. Go through what she went through. There are a couple of good uh, lines in there, like, like, oh, who am I offending? The Nazis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Uh, you'll have to let us know what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you want all of our Helsing Ultimate Bridge reactions, check out the description of this video. We got playlists there. Yep. We got a link to our Patreon. You can get early ad free access. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Helsing Ultimate Bridge to episode six, but just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.